I've got 10 more styles for you to try today in mid-journey, and it's a simple case of adding a comma to the end of your prompts and then the following phrases. So we're gonna start with the style number one, DMT art style, which is a really hyper colorful and really eye-catching style that modifies things pretty well. We have a woman's face and you can see how it's really done a great job of adding a bunch of really intricate details and flowy sort of bright colors and giving it a real surreal and in your face look. Same with the beach. You can see there's a lot of sort of separation, lots of lines. And if you check the sky out, everything's got a lot of detail to it, but in a really smooth kind of artistic way and uh, very striking. I've added something different, a microscopic cyborg beetle. This has definitely done something different and interesting with the details. Again, tons of details, tons of color, and just a really overall sort of grabbing look. Also, Abstract Art created some really crazy faces. The two at the bottom, really grabbing attention. Uh, something really different uh, with this one. Next one is Simple Vector Art, the exact opposite of what we were looking at. This is something really simple, great for use of logos. And if you want to use Vectorizer.ai or something, it simplifies images into a few colors. Mostly flat, sometimes it can be a bit hit and miss, but mostly it is pretty good and you can create simple images that are easy to vectorize. I used Ninja Turtles here with this one. So you can see how it's created some sort of small vector characters as well as larger, more complex vector characters. And again, Buff Buddha, something a little bit different again. Uh, very simple though, and it looks like a very vectorizable image, something that's easy to use. And now a tiny modern home. You can see it looks like a nice little vector drawing, very neat, clean, crisp lines, sharp angles, uh, looking pretty vector in my opinion. And abstract art just created something abstract and kind of vectorize it and uh, not the best effect, but still pretty cool if you ask me. In the style of shattered, this takes images and sort of shatters the subject a little bit. So you can see with the woman's face, her face is shattered to pieces and it has still kept the overall look on and layout of the face, but with a shattered style. Add that to a house and we get something a little bit different where the house is still there, but there's like shattered rocks on the top left or bits of shattered sort of like imagery throughout just to give it a more interesting texture to the surfaces of the house. A beautiful beach in the style of shattered. Now, if you look at the bottom left, you get the shattered sort of like frozen water. It's like it just sort of shatters every element, including the rocks and the water. It turns out really cool, I think, when you add this to something simple like a beautiful beach. Abstract art in the style of shattered has produced another interesting look of something artistic, but in a shattered over sort of layout. Buff Buddha, once again, just sort of like shattered pieces making up the image. Very interesting overall. Vector lines is a little bit different again from vector art as it tends to use vector line work. So you look at the house, Nice, solid, clean lines and the woman's face, clean, vectorizable lines and looks very, very neat, but also very detailed. Batman, we've got some vector lines making him, which is also pretty cool. And the cyborg beetle now looks like a piece of vector art, which also is a pretty stunning look. Once again, Buff Buddha, something a little less simple, a little more intricate, but still a vector look to the overall sort of... Uh, line work in this one. Macro photography is a type of photography where you're taking a photo of something very small using a lens that makes it very sharp but also adds a lot of blur to uh, other bits and pieces that are far away. So a woman's eye, we've zoomed in on the eye itself, captured a great amount of detail in the iris and including the eye lashes. The beetle, the cyborg beetle, you can see it's like really up close but still with that sort of depth of field and blur which keeps a really sharp look but makes it look really tiny. Tiny car. Also, just something different for this particular uh, style. It looks like a tiny car on the, on the ground, like a toy almost. Same with the tiny modern home. Another tiny looking house that this looks like a real macro photo. And the beautiful beach has chosen to zoom in on shells and things like that to give it that same macro photography look. Ransom Note is something a little bit different and also reminds me a little bit of one I did in the past, kind of like with the newspaper collage, but again, using more ransom note type elements. So this is a little bit similar to before, but this is a little bit different. The ransom note with Buff Buddha looks like street art in a way and looks very cool. While the tiny modern home is something artistic and different all over again, sort of made up of ransom note letters, which I think is really interesting. And the Batman uh, ransom note is a little bit different. The money in the top right corner I find pretty funny, but uh, just another interesting take on that image. And the beautiful beach has kind of created something with elements on the beach. And the bottom left is a good example of that with the letters 
and um, just compose that really in a really different sort of way. Street art, similar to graffiti, but a little bit different, tends to show the wall with the graffiti on it, but the woman's face is like a beautiful woman's face sort of painted onto a wall, like in graffiti style. And with the beautiful beach, it's just a beach painting on the wall. It tends to actually include the wall or buildings more in this particular phrase. Abstract art has chosen a woman's face in most instances, but still more cartoony, more artistic. And a tiny modern home, something a little bit different, but some really cool street art painted on the walls. So this is just a really interesting way to take an object and sort of apply art to it. And Buff Buddha has done the same job, play, uh, sort of uh, putting a picture of Buddha on the walls. He's not really buff, but you sort of get the idea. Biopunk is another really cool style that uh, adds kind of like a cyberpunk style look to it, but a little bit different. Now with the Buff Buddha, it's done some really intricate work with his body, adding sort of like bits of machinery and cogs and wheels and done something pretty cool and the woman's face same thing again lots of machinery but it's a very different sort of feel to it it's not quite the same as cyberpunk abstract art has chosen a woman's face again mostly but more colorful and abstract in nature but a little bit sort of more out there in a tiny modern home again a little bit different and uh, just a different shape and take on what a home looks like with this biopunk added to it with the Ninja Turtle, it's done some really cool sort of like uh, technology and added it to their face and headband, like the goggles in the top right. But we move on to assemblage, which kind of reminds me a little bit of Nolan photography, but with a bit of a twist. As you can see with Buff Buddha, it's like his many pieces and he's sort of being assembled by all these various little bits and pieces. I think the top left is a good example. And the woman's face, again, something completely different and assembled using smaller pieces. Uh, very neat effect on that one. Also abstract art, just kind of created something that's been assembled and Batman. With Batman, it's had that nulling photo effect and kind of the same again with the beach, but just a little bit different and a little bit of a different take. But moving on, we've got the infographic drawing. You can see how it's added sort of bits and pieces of information around the woman's face, whereas Buff Buddha has almost turned it into a full-blown infographic with a ton of detail, and the imagery itself is actually really cool too. Abstract art, it sort of adds, again, bits and pieces of what looks like information. The microscopic cyborg beetle looks like something pretty cool and infographic-like. Whereas the beautiful beach looks more like the illustration side of the infographic. It has turned it from what would normally be a photo into something kind of illustrated, not so much information though. But you can see that infographic sort of influence on the image. But uh, otherwise, that's my 10 styles for today. We've got more for you coming soon. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, we have more styles on a video card on the screen at the moment. You can click through, see some of those if you want more. All those, I hope you had a great day and I'll see you again soon.